Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Here's the latest what's going on with Yellowstone. Stanley, Idaho had a magnitude 4.2 earthquake. Being their weekend, um, anything that's smaller than say uh, 2.5 um, isn't being reported because USBS, or excuse me, USGS is off for the weekend. 88 people did report feeling this 4.2 earthquake. And the moment tensor ball shows that the initial P wave almost came straight up. Yeah, P stands for the first wave of the earthquake and tension was applied going northeast. We can see a dipping of the fault line. It dropped down and moved east. Nine people near Boise, Idaho reported feeling this earthquake. There is another one way up north, um, Cottonwood. And then we got some over here by Carmen. And let's see here. We got Stanley. So it's close to Stanley. Yeah, these earthquakes um, are definitely not settling down. Ever since they had that large earthquake. Let me bring this out. Um, the 6.5 that was recorded on March 31st. These earthquakes have all been along the Sawtooth Mountain Range, the Sawtooth Fault Zone. Here we got Chalice, Idaho, and we'll bring it out. Down here we got the uh, Craters of the Moon. Now that's one of the more recent volcanic eruptions that Native Americans talk about. It was about 2,000 years ago. This is the uh, fault zone where they had dike intrusion along the Snake River Plateau that leads up to Yellowstone. Now you may wonder what the red lines are. These are the red lines of the distance of the uplift that I acquired back in 2015. So if Yellowstone ever has another major eruption, um, yeah, they would definitely see it from the space shuttle. But hopefully the next eruption will just be a small one such as the one at the Craters of the Moon area 2,000 years ago. Yeah, look at all that lava that flowed out. That was a minor eruption. And then we got Hell's Half Acre Volcano. You can see the magma that flowed from that one. That eruption covered about 230 um, acres. That eruption was about 5,000 years ago. Whereas this one right here... Um, was only about 2,000 years ago. Like I said, uh, Native American uh, folklore, those stories they hand down, talk about um, the eruption that happened during their time. So here we have Stanley, Idaho, uh, Kelly, Wyoming, Stanley, Idaho. These are all the recent earthquakes. They're only reporting one for today, the 4.2, and there's nothing for the Yellowstone area. This occurred at 12.11 and 37 seconds universal time. So here's the files that I pulled at it about 1 o'clock p.m. Central Daylight Time. You might think, oh, that's the uh, 4.2. Well, it's not. It's one of the earthquakes of many that they are not reporting. Right there. Oh, 10.26 and 30 seconds, maybe 35 seconds was the first P wave. And then the initial shock came in at 1026 and 40 seconds and you can see that it stirred up the caldera yeah look at all the heat that came up and then afterwards there was two little uh probably aftershocks that are not being reported to this right here this is the 4.2 that occurred in stanley idaho there's the initial p wave and we'll look at its signature and we'll pull it across yeah, that one they did report, but that was it. That's all they're reporting. We got another one marked in red at 9.03 universal time. That is today. And let's pull this up. Let's see. You can see it changes into today over here. Let me pull this over for you. Today's the 14th. And there was a lot of activity prior to this. Um, yesterday at 18.08 and 30 seconds, there is another earthquake. Nice, strong signature. 
that would have been yesterday saturday the 13th but you can see they only have three reported for the 13th and none of them at that time yeah someone's sleeping on the job well they don't have anyone monitoring on the weekends perhaps when monday comes they'll report these later now this is the monitor that is at yellowstone lake remember it's the north end of yellowstone lake okay so we got one there marked in red and this is when the computer picks up that there was a probable earthquake and it's a sign for the geologists if there's anyone there to come in and review it and then report it now we've got harmonic tremors here let me pull this up for you yeah yeah look at that yeah blobs of magma um now this would have been early in um early uh 401 universal time today yeah, look at all this. A lot of stuff going on at Yellowstone Lake. Like I said, this is the north end where the monitor is for Yellowstone Lake. And this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Remember, there's that large crack they have spreading at the bottom of Yellowstone Lake. I've talked about that before. Steamboat geyser went off again on the 12th. Here we got the uh, temperature spikes. See how it grew? This is a short duration. This one was a fairly long duration. Another one on the 3rd, very short. And it looks like the duration and the temperature of steamboat geyser is getting smaller. They're getting closer together. Um, but they're not lasting as long as say some of them have in the past yeah but the temperature isn't as great but it's holding steady for the last three eruptions so it's been four days since its last eruption there it is on the 12th um the eighth it was five days since its last eruption uh the third three days seven days yeah it's still very active uh, from when it kicked in about two years ago Remember, they had some uh, new geysers erupt along the boardwalk. So this would be its 18th eruption so far this year. Doesn't look like it's going to break any records like it did last year with, what, 39 eruptions, I think it was. Here we have the water temperature for Firehole River at Old Faithful. Notice how it's been spiking. We got um, just after the 10th, the 11th, the 12th and the 13th tantalus creek has been showing spikes and this would be air temperature evidently when um the creek runs lower and then we got the spike the 10th the 11th the 12th the 13th and it goes up until what it's showing so far for today the 14th so I thought I'd look at the weekly temperature graph for Steamboat Geyser. We got the 9th, there was a peak. Um, just after the 10th, there was a peak. Uh, Steamboat Geyser gradually increased, had constant uh, water flowing, what they call fault start, so we really can't see uh, the 11th, the 12th. But look at the 13th. Now I mentioned before, I thought these rocks here at Old Faithful looked like they had been growing larger for some strange reason um, you know compared to what it was doing or looked like in the past you can give me your opinion of it here we have the monitor for Norris Junction this is probably the 4.2 earthquake that occurred uh, there by Sawtooth uh, Stanley Idaho and look how it shook up the caldera and it lasted quite a while um, Bring it over. Uh, 1216, 1210. Let's look at the signature. Yeah, it was just ringing. So we got 1216, and there's the first P wave of it. So probably for about two minutes, it shook up the caldera. Okay, and then we got this one at 1116 that was not reported. Yeah, a lot more heat came up with that one than, say, the one in Stanley, Idaho. 
but this one probably happened there at the park. Shorter P wave. We got another small one here, very small. Brought up some hot gases. And we got another one here at 1154. Again, not being reported. And then we got some more marked in red. Um, we got this one at 1026. Yeah, that is a lot of heat that came up. 1026. But they only reported one earthquake today for that whole area. And then there was another one, a little aftershock, at 1028. We'll look at its signature. Right there. So we've got that one marked in red, which looks like it was a lot more significant than this 4.2. We've got another one down here at 1650. Oh, my thing's acting up. Let me see if I can get it to work. Okay. Now oh, it's being silly. All right, maybe if I go back to the spectrogram. Okay, let's try it again. Yeah, just a very small earthquake. Okay, and then we got another small one there. That was today. Let me pull this up for you. at 527 again this one was also today and I can close this out at 301 and then this was yesterday yep harmonic tremors another earthquake at 1808 Again, this is Norris Junction Monitor. So that was yesterday, the 13th, 1808. Yeah, they don't have it reported. They got at 505, 544, and 1245 yesterday. And that's all universal time. You can see here where it changed over to universal time. So not being reported. Uh, 2041. Yeah. Uh, another small one, yep. Harmonic tremors or volcanic tremors, they call it. When magma is moving. And then we'll come back down here. Again, this is Norris Junction. So this 4.2 definitely shook up the caldera. Um, but it didn't have as much of an effect as what these other earthquakes did. At 1116. Yeah, 1026 was the most significant. And these are not. And I repeat, not being reported. That is a lot of heat. Well, there's Old Faithful. It's going off. I don't know if I just caught the trail end of it. Looks like it. it's kind of settling down. Let me bring this down a little bit. Oh, camera stopped. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do when the camera stops working. Oh, maybe it's just now starting to erupt. Um, seeing how Yellowstone Forever, who channels the money that they get from Canon cameras um, to the live webcam, I don't know what they're going to do uh, if something major goes wrong and the camera goes down. Yeah, but it's... Stopping and going and stopping and going. I would say that's kind of a short duration for Old Faithful. Yeah, and if you notice the other rocks too over here, I don't know. It sure looks like it's changed quite a bit in the last year. All right, here we have the monitor for Lake Butte. This is on the eastern side of Yellowstone Lake. This is that magnitude 4.2 earthquake. And like I said, it it lasted, if I can get it back on the line, it lasted quite a while. 
You have the shaking there. And we'll look at the spectrogram. You see the hot water that came up. And then it settled down. And then we got another earthquakes, or several of them. Look at that there. Okay, and this is at 1221, uh, 1220, 1221, 1221, and 10 seconds. Because that almost looked like a spring, don't it? These are what you call harmonic tremors, or an actual screw wave. You see these at volcanoes. Yep. Okay, we got another one marked in red right there not being reported okay at 1231 and we got some pulses yeah boom 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 very significant drum beats yeah look at the hot stuff that it brought up there Um, 1307. I want to go up to that other earthquake that was showing uh, more activity right there. Uh, 1026. Remember at Norris Junction. Yeah, it really showed up there. Again, not being reported. Yep, harmonic tremors. Let me pull this over. And that lasted a while too. Yeah, I don't like seeing stuff like this, so with um, the drum beats. Look at that. Yep. Yeah, what that is, is say you got a plug, okay? Um, some, you got a hose, and let's say there's a rock in the hose, um, and it's slowly pushing it through as the pressure builds. It's slowly pushing that rock through. Yeah, boom. Let's, it releases, boom, it releases, boom, it releases until it finally comes out. Yeah, I don't like seeing stuff like that. Okay, so let's go up and see what else we got here. Again, this is yesterday, 1604, not being reported. And you can see that that earthquake uh, lasted a long time. Yeah, there was definite uh, movement of the magma yeah yeah look at that yeah and the melt the melted rock let's pull this over some more we got a little spike there you can see that there and then it settled down right about here Yeah, and we'll go back down to where I pulled the files at about one o'clock. Yeah, got a small one there. You can't really see it, but on here. If you had a signature such as this extending for any length of time, this would be a warning, one of the warnings that a volcano would be erupting. Actually, it only takes about 10 minutes for magma to come up from a plume from the mantle of the earth to create a major eruption. And we have seen eruptions that came without any warning at all at other volcanoes. So if this had lasted um, any length of time, I'd be greatly concerned. And being the weekend, there is no one, absolutely no one, to watch for signatures such as this, which is rather concerning. Yeah. So what are your thoughts about that? Put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much for everyone's support. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.